How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Ashby Tapes and welcome to another fragrance video. Today we're going to be talking about a super underrated fragrance that I have not seen one review on YouTube of yet. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I do it? I've talked about this fragrance in many, in many of my lists, especially in my best fragrances for fall. This is an awesome fragrance and I'm really excited to talk about it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into the review guys we always start on our channel here it is the sneaker or shoe of the day since i live in minnesota here it's pretty cold it's like 10 degrees out right now so i wanted to go for something a little warmer today so i threw on my ross and snow cap toe boots i love these they're awesome um, i did have the all shirling pair once but i it wasn't durable um, this one is my newest pair by them cap toe boot classic silhouette as you can see there amazing leather on the inside as well as the outside plus i did put their shirling insoles in there which just helps your keep your feet a little bit warmer i love these boots i highly recommend them for cold weather you can dress this up dress this down this is my shoe of the day but the fragrance that is what we're here for and the juice we're talking about today is rag and bones amber eau de parfum this fragrance look at look at that look at the color of that juice Oh my gosh, it is awesome. This presentation is awesome too. I'll throw some B-roll of the presentation in here, but this bottle is a perfect, perfect bottle. You've got Rag and Bone right on the top there with a little marble finish to it. It is a magnetic cap, so you can't hold it by the cap. Can't really shake it around though. You have this, it's a really heavy cap too, and it just snaps right into place, which is awesome. And it's simple. You have the rag and bone amber on there. I'll throw in some B-roll for y'all when I'm reading off the notes so you can get a better view of all of the packaging. But it is absolutely stunning. But we're not here to really talk about the packaging. I don't really tend to care for packaging. It's all about what's on the interior here. This does retail for $150. You can find it at Nordstrom and ragandbone.com. I think are the only two authorized retailers to sell this. And it does retail for $150. It is expensive but I'll get into why I think it's worth it. Now the notes in Rag and Bone Amber, Eau de Parfum, it, in the top you have rum, this really nice bright bergamot, some super, super spicy saffron. You In the mid, they claim there is oud in there. There's some plum. There's also a really dark cognac that I absolutely love. And in the base, we have tobacco, liquid amber, and vanilla. I do have the dry down sprayed on this hand, so I'm gonna be sniffing this hand. It is... Truly a amazing fall winter scent. I find this to be working in cold weather climates. Off the top, you get a really nice rum accord mixed with bergamot and it is stunning. The rum in here is just so darn masculine and seductive, but not overly masculine. And that rum kind of dies down and then you get into the mid. Now they say there's oud in the mid. I cannot smell a hint of skanky oud. Maybe it's a little, little undertone there, but it is super, super wearable. The plum adds this certain kind of sexy sweetness that is super unisex, which I absolutely love. And then that cognac. The cognac in here is to die for. I know they call this fragrance amber, but truly I do think this isn't an amber fragrance. They should have called this cognac eau de parfum. As we get into the base, you get a little bit of this tobacco, this rich kind of warm tobacco, not a pipe tobacco, but more like a tobacco leaf. It's rich, it's dark, it's sweet. It is super, super nice. I do get the liquid amber as well, and that just adds this sexiness that goes next, next level. And then that vanilla undertone, just to make it crowd pleasing, is awesome. It is grounded by vanilla and it is amazing the way the rum and the cognac mix with the plum and then you get that saffron spice and vanilla it is a perfect all-around fragrance i have no no complaints with this fragrance smell wise it is awesome performance wise let's see how she does i've worn the heck out of this this is a two sprayer nothing more otherwise it kind of just gets a little cloying because it is a deeper darker fragrance this fragrance is awesome for date night. Performance, I get six to seven hours out of. Sillage is awesome, but projection isn't the best. Now, I say that lightly because most people think, oh, if projection isn't good, why the heck would I buy a $150 fragrance? This, if this projected too much, if this projected like a Parfum de Marley fragrance, if this 
projected like a Mimo Paris fragrance. This would just be overly cloying and not good at all. This is a get close to me fragrance. This is something that you spray on, that you go on a date with or you go to a special event with and you want that person next to you or the person giving you a hug at the event. They really want you to get close to that person and they smell you and it just draws them in. If I could describe this fragrance using only three words, my three words would be exotic, rich, and expensive. It smells so exotic. It smells so luxurious. It smells like a lot of naturals and a lot of hard work was put into this fragrance. This is a designer fragrance. So exotic does not really go with that designer world. Usually designers make more crowd pleasing fragrances, but exotic explain this, explains this beautifully. Rag and bone, A plus job on the construction of this fragrance. The next word I would give this is rich because it's so rich and it's almost caramelly it is just amazing the way the amber mixes with that kind of alcohol notes the rum the booziness it is almost bad boy and it's rich it is super super rich and the last word i would explain this is expensive this stuff smells like a niche fragrance this is higher quality than a couple of my niche fragrances quality comparison to this i would say it is quality wise above tom ford private blend but below like a Perfumes de Marly, and I am in love with this. 50 milliliters, $150 for that quality. Think of it, you're getting a 50 mil of a Tom Ford fragrance for about $310 retail. You do the math. This is a fantastic fragrance. So to sum this fragrance up for you guys, it is amazing, warm, boozy, rich, sexy, fall, winter, date night fragrance that performance is perfect on. Not overdoing the performance, but just enough to get you through a date night and it's still clinging onto your skin. This is a mysterious, it's alluring, it's sexy, and I love every second of what I'm wearing it. That is my review on Amber Eau de Parfum by Rag & Bone, the New York designer fashion house that makes fragrances that smell like niche fragrances. I am going to call out Fragmental to try this fragrance out. I think you would go mental for this fragrance. This cognac and tobacco is something I know you would love, okay? I love this one. Fragmental, you have to try this one. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Brian Fiora and I run this channel. We talk about fashion, fragrance, and men's wellness. I got a couple good videos coming up for you guys, including hopefully next week, 10 Things I Can't Live Without, that GQ series. I'm gonna do it on my own and I just really wanted to do it. This fragrance is awesome. And also I have my boot collection video coming to you guys next week as well. So stay tuned for that. I love y'all. Subscribe and like. Donate to my Patreon if you wanna support me more and I will see you guys in the next one. God bless.